Hey guys, welcome to my playthrough for the last days of the Third Age for Warband. I'm playing uh, uh, the newest build that is hopefully a little bit more stable since I've last played it. Um, uh, the, the build as of December 21st. But um, I was inspired to do this playthrough after watching the last Hobbit movie, and um, I, I, I was just so excited. The, the fights were so cool, and it was, it was a great way to send off the Hobbit trilogy. And I figured, well, why don't I play one of my favorite games? Uh, but the mod for it, which happens to be a Best Lord of the Rings mod, The Last Days. And I'll be making a dwarf in honor of the new, of the new movie. And uh, let's see. I've never played a dwarf before, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. But I imagine they'll have very good infantry. Let's pick a... Let's, let's pick Elibor, Erebor. Oh man, what kind of dwarf name should I have? Ah, here we go. Urist. It's a nice little reference for all you dwarf fortress lovers out there. And let's make sure we got plenty of that, okay. Actually, let's see if we can get another point. I probably need eight. No, okay. So we'll do what I originally did. I like to have as many points in leadership as possible for pretty obvious reasons. It, it just, it's just, it's it's super important to get that up um, by the mid game. Let's get point the power strike, iron flesh. I probably won't be using throwing weapons, so I won't need that. Um, I might use bows, but I'm not sure yet. I think, um, well, we'll wait. It's, it's not necessary yet points in these as well because these are both pretty important and uh let's put one point trainer okay put points in these i'm not sure if uh dwarves have pretty good two-handed weapons i assume they have just pretty good weapons in general but we'll keep it even just in case oh, oh. <laughs> oh they didn't account for that i suppose I'll probably add this part out so you guys don't have to see it. It's not, it's not that important. Just show you guys what the finished product is like. Okay. And here we are. See what I have in my inventory. What is that? Oh, that's a pole arm. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, let's go airborne. Get some quests going. Now it's been a while since I've last played this, but if I remember correctly, you need to get, I think, reputation, so that you can earn enough. Or. It's a little different from Native Warband for those who aren't familiar with the way the game works, but um, you don't actually go villages to recruit people. You go to the towns and you have to um, have, I think they're called requisition points, um, and you use those to buy uh, weapons, armor, um, or recruit um, men. Um, there's no money in the game whatsoever, and you can't loot enemy weapons or armor, like you can't, you can't actually wear those. Um, and what what you'll mostly be doing is using the scrap you acquire after battles to, uh... Like here, maybe I can show you guys. Show me what you have. Okay, so they're not called requisition points. I don't know where I got that from, but... Um, you use these points to, to just claim these items, and, um, you, you, um, you get them for fighting, um, completing quests, all that stuff. So it's a little bit simpler, but it also makes sense because you're not you're 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 just a soldier in these factions. You're not you might become like a, a very high commander or something, but you'll never be like one of the main figures, I guess. Uh, but anyways, I'm kind of going on here. Let's see. Let's talk to the guildmaster. What else, West Camp? Q. 
Healy. Wow. I'm glad to see you have become Dwarven Miner, and I'm looking forward to joining you. Oh, okay. King Dane. Okay, well, if anything to improve relations so that I can get things going. It's kind of restrictive at the moment. To Bjorn's house, alright. That should be over here, yep. Um, there's a lot of cool features in this mod. Like, for instance, if you walk, like, I don't, I'm not walking through the forest to get there sooner because if you just do that, then you could actually get ambushed by spiders or other, other foul things, and that wouldn't be cool. Ah, uh, that's what I get for not paying attention. Eight goblins. Okay, this could be more than a little tough. Not very high swing speed either. Okay, if I get him in a line like this, I'll be able to do it. Yeah, sorry, I didn't say anything there, but I definitely had to focus for this fight. But, um, if the enemy's morale actually lowers, then they'll, they'll, <coughs> they'll, like, trip and stumble, they'll, they'll panic like I just saw. And then give, and, uh, killing masses of them quickly, or in a short amount of time from each kill, uh, increases the chance of that happening. So... Even though that was a pre-soup on my part, um, that worked out, so I'm happy. But you, uh, you know what? I'm dealing with. Remember that day and day on this chain. Okay, so this is just explaining that um, even though um, the elves are allied with us or whatever, you still have to actually like like the resource like the the points I earn. Uh, the reputation I earn helping the dwarves and Erebor and, and the Iron Hills Quarry will not um, benefit me when I talk to, say, Dale or with the elves or Gondor. You have to raise your reputation with them separately. Okay, let's check out the barracks because if I have at least a couple men... Uh, it's just normal training. Okay. Well, just gotta get the show on the road then. I just have to be more careful next time. So yeah, even, even this is dangerous because I could get attacked by wargs and that happens, well. Um, e even as a higher level character, I, I still find it very difficult to fight them. 
Let's go Bjorn's house. Oh, ah, shit. I really gotta stop doing that. I don't have anything in my inventory. Tribal orcs. These are actual orcs versus just the uh, goblins. There are less of them. Okay, they don't have shields. That should make things a little easier. Wow, these guys are really good at blocking. I used to that. Action-packed episode to start things off with, huh? But worked out in my favor yet yeah, again. I'll probably rest at Bjorn's house before I make the journey back. Okay. Who do I need to talk to? I'd even I even look. Banner Black Fur. Uh, hopefully he's here. It's just a regular warrior. There he is. Five rank points and one influence. Influence and rank points. Okay, so rank points. That's what it, w it was called. Okay, it's good. It's good, good, good. So, we'll wait a day, make sure I'm at full health in case I accidentally run into some fucking orcs again. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go. I just won't speed up all the way so that I can react in case I see any orcs. Oh! oh. Okay, those are dwarven lookouts. Uh, maybe I can recruit them. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm trying. I, I, I wanted to explain more, but um, if you notice that they're calling me Dwarven Miner, that indicates what my current rank is. And as you gain more um, reputation with the, your faction, then they'll they'll rank you up. Okay. Let's see if I can get volunteers. Ah, oh, yes, finally. All right, here we go. Let's get a lookout and apprentice dwarf. Oh, and I forgot to level up, silly me. So how's how much does that cost? It costs twenty three, that's that's fine. Awesome, now I got a small some small band of dwarves for me. My own company, as it were. And let's go to the Lord's Chamber and talk to the king. Oh, right, I didn't have to talk to him to turn in the quest. Main run camp. Alright, that's, that sounds good. Small scouting mission. Okay. Under the cover of night, perfect time. Oh, I, forgot, I forgot to level up again, but uh, let's head back. Okay, now we're safe, and let's level up real quick. Let's get a point to charisma, put a point to leadership, and we'll up our one-handed for now. Oops, so let's go to the Lord's Chamber. There we 
we go. For Woodsman Village, sure. It's like doing these quests, make sure that I'm uh, in tip top shape reflex wise. Oh, it's kind of far, but that's fine. We can fight some orcs on the way. Hopefully, level up our men and get some scrap. If I can buy some better gear for myself, because a pickaxe isn't going to do for very long. <laughs> Okay, so he should be a dwarf. Wait, is that him? I think that's him. Suspicious dwarf, yep, that's definitely him. Oh, so we'll see about that. These guys usually have high stats, so I gotta be careful. That was close. He he took a sh he took a ton of health off when he hit me. Oh, that's a nice looking sword. I wish I could have one. Hey, let's wait a little bit. Make sure I'm at full health. I'll wait a full day. Yeah, I'm curious to see what the higher tier dwarf warriors look like. I I'm excited. Would've been cool if they had uh, mounts, but I guess that would, that was more of a movie thing. And this mod try definitely tries to stay closer to the books than the movies. Like um, you'll notice when you see the elves and s I mean I, you'll you'll notice when you see the elves and stuff that they have um just male armor because there were there was no plate armor in um in the books um as far as I'm aware it was um since Tolkien kind of based his lore of um. The Lord of the Rings around ancient mythology, like Norse mythology. The, I assume that's where his, where the weapons and armor and stuff came from as well. Although there is definitely some evil inspiration to, to be sure. Oh, okay. All right, let's get worried. All right, let's go tell the king that we were successful. Three hundred, nice. Okay. I'll talk to Thranduil. Huh. I'm sure that will go well. Not really. I can't get any weapons. Like any decent weapons. Ah, uh, no. Eh, we'll get the get the hood. Why not? I just don't have enough men, right? Okay. Um. Yeah, let's get a few more archers. Why not? There we go. That's a good. That's a good company, and I can do that quest now. Fantastic. Um, I need to get food. I forgot where you get food from. Not Thor, obviously. Supply Master, that too. Oh, wait, ooh. Oh, no, okay. Get some cram rations and some fish. Okay, let's get the show on the road here. That's a large caravan. Wood Elf West Camp. Yep. Yeah, I can stop at Thranduil's Hall on the way. I think I'll just cut through the forest for this one. And hopefully I... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, Dale. That's good. 
Whenever I see any color not my not my own, then I just get worried right off the bat. I've ran to too many parties by accident as is, so go to the throne room. Hello, friend wheel. I was checking them. I mean, I doubt anything's gonna happen to them, anyways. They have they have plenty of maybe a hardened warrior dwarfs and warrior dwarfs and both dwarfs. They're, they're I'm I'm just I'm just a scouting party essentially. That's fine. Okay. Nice, I leveled up again. Things are going well. Let's get some of this so that we can max out training. We'll get some points into tracking as well. But a few more points in the one-handed. Okay, and let's head back. Try get some weapons. Or actually, how much did I have in my inventory? Uh, I had 51. Oh, shit. Okay, that's not a lot. Let's go talk to Guildmaster because I think I have to talk with him to actually reclaim my reward. I'm, I'm not even paying attention to the quest text. Uh, I guess not. Oh god, the easiest escort quest ever. It's literally right there. Oh, you're here. <laughs> well, that's nice. Straight goblins. Now that's what I like to hear. I'm I'm done escorting supply trains that clearly don't need my help. Alright, so they're in the vicinity of the town, which is bad. Because what usually happens is they just bugger off somewhere and they're nowhere to be found afterwards. And now they're probably nowhere to be found because I don't see them. I wonder if I can ask these guys if they've seen them. Oh, don't come on. Come on, Dale. We're friends. There's no need no need for that. Oh ah, no. There, right, well, they're probably gone. No idea I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna pass these lookouts. No, I don't want to give my men away. Yeah, well, hopefully they turn up while I'm doing some quests. Let's go talk to the people here, maybe we can find a quest. Thorin Stonehelm. Not the Thorin. Just named after him. He doesn't need anything, okay. Okay, what about you, Folk Folkney Longbeard? Yeah, that's fine. Usually, I don't do these uh, those quests where you need to send a letter to someone because it's fucking demeaning. But I mean, it, it, these aren't that far away, so I don't mind. And usually, I can fight something on the way. So, um, and you've probably noticed that none of the lords are actually out and about. Like, you never see D Dane running around, and that's because, if I remember correctly. Um, not until a certain event happens in the game after like I think probably a month or two um, when the war actually starts um, they, they stay inside but when the war starts and all the action starts happening and the sieges can happen everything can happen King Brand Lord Bard. Interesting. I think they changed it. Like, I thought, if I remember correctly, I think Bard used to be the king. 
Um, I don't know if King Brand was the King of Dale around this time. Um, who do I need to talk to? Lord Hallward. I think I saw him in there. Oh, wait, let me just make sure. Yep, he was in there. Cool. Okay, how much do I have now? 48. Uh, my funds are fluctuating. No, they were... Wow, my relation deteriorates if they get killed by another party. Well, that's... Whatever. Couldn't find them. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm tired of those guild master quests. Let's do one more quest for the king and, uh... Maybe do one more battle. Oh, he doesn't need my help. Okay, um... Alright, well, shit. I guess we will do a quest for the Guildmaster. Oops, uh... Five units of usable metal scraps. Okay, that's fine. I'd rather use them for my own resources, but... Well, we'll get some uh, reputation with their reports so that, and that's fine. Let's go looking for trouble. And the easiest way to do that is to just run over to the enemy faction. Yeah, we'll do one more battle and then uh, call it quits for the first video. I plan on uploading these every day um, as, as often as I can. It kind of depends on my internet. My internet's kind of poor. Um, but I should be able to do a video a day. That won't be a problem as long as I keep the videos uh, short enough. I usually kind of aim for 30 minutes an hour. Okay, come on. I'm, I'm right next to freaking Gundabad at this point. I should be able to fight some orc somewhere. Please. <laughs> come on, that's ridiculous. I'm right here. Man, that's really disappointing. No goblins. Enemy parties. I'm gonna try to s disguise myself and sneak into Gundam bands. Not the time for that yet. Well, I'm just gonna fast forward. I, I want to do one more battle before uh, end this one. Okay, let's let's travel a little further. Maybe we'll go to Dol Goldur. Go, ah, gosh, sorry. Dol Goldur, door. How do you pronounce it? Man, the forces of good are doing too good. That's no good. For me, anyways. How am I gonna afford this troop upkeep? I'm doing laps around Dol Goldur, and nothing, nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're going to Mordor just to do one fight, cause I need some fucking scrap. I can't go this way. Oh, right, cause this is the Dead Marshes, I believe. My geographic knowledge of Middle Earth is still accurate. Okay, I should find someone from Mordor. Okay, Easterlings, there we go. Oh shit, oh shit, this is turning south real quick. 1515, 15, but they have mounts. Okay. Climactic finale. <laughs> oh god, these guys look horrifying. Okay, okay. Oh crap, they're not even give us time. Alright, man. That's what we trained for. I mean, I didn't, I didn't train you, but this is what our guys trained you for. Oh my god. Oh jeez, give me that shield. Oh, we're, we're done. Get 
good thing we're short, they can't hit us very well. Yeah, we're done. There's no way. Ah. I shouldn't have done that. But I was just... Uh. Well, guys. Yeah, it was a it was a grim end to um, the first episode, but it's fine. We'll come back. We'll get revenge on the the Easterlings. Uh. I don't know. Is it my end? Yeah, no survivors. That's unfortunate. But okay, guys. I promise things will be better in the next episode. Uh, just a rough start. But uh, I'll see you next time.